But the Grand Prix series continues nicely. And uh, we've got plenty of talent lurking in the background. But for, Mer for now, the focus of attention is on these four riders. Who's going to win the night? That man in the blue helmet colour, Martin Vasilik, has a very good chance. He's been riding terrifically well this evening. It's about composure now. Hold yourself together. Do the right things at the right time. And um, I've got to say, one or two of these boys have been here more than once. Woofenden has won this uh, meeting three times consecutively between 2013 and 2015. He knows what it's all about. Janowski won here last year. Martin Vasilik, a multiple Grand Prix winner, of course. He knows what it's all about. Jason Doyle, a former world champion. He's won here in the Marquetta. There's real quality on the start line here for the final race of the evening, Chris. Really is a fabulous lineup for the final. Yeah, so predictions, Kelvin, I have to ask you, as you know. Well, I'm going with the Brit here tonight. I'm going with Woofen, and it's been a great to see him back on fine form. I think if he gets his nose in front, he'll pick up the win, but it's going to be awfully tight through that first turn. Yeah, on the great, inside, great. Wuffenden in red. Martin Vasilek in blue in gate number two. Matzei Janowski on a warning coming out of gate number three. And Jason Doyle will go from gate number four right. in the yellow helmet colour. Sorry, Wuffenden, a great shout, but I'm going to have to go for Martin Vasilek. been so confident all night. Looks uh, fantastic. He's got great speed, and he's on uh, the gate that he wants. Well, it would move him on to 29 World Championship points, and that will be very valuable indeed with a Grand Prix next weekend. I mean, that's just perfect timing to really get your campaign back on track. Settling down then for the big grand final. Here we go in the Marquette Stadium. Green lights on. Oh, Janowski's blown it on the star. Away they go. The red light's on. He'll have to be out. He's uh, had a warning already. Oh, that's desperate for Matt Sajanovski. He was nervous in the semi-final where he twitched a bit on the start line. Got away with it that time. But Arta Kashmiris, the referee, really has no choice but to uh, take him out of the final. I don't think there was any movement before him. Yeah, oh, maybe from Jason Doyle. Doyle. You know, it could be used as, as an excuse. Oh, Doyle definitely moves. Yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, Magic's got a good case to make there. Uh, no exclusion light on yet, but I just fancy the fact that it could well be curtains there for Janowski. And uh, we wait to see the decision from the referee. Janowski's still out on track. Maybe a bit of... But he's been no, told to like, leave yeah, yeah. the uh, arena, and that's desperately disappointing end to the evening. He'll pick up 14 World Championship points. And um, uh, far from disastrous, but of course he would have been looking for the win there. Yeah, Jason Doyle will be buoyed by that because uh, he's got a little bit more space now as he comes off the start line from gate four. So three riders only for the final. That's disappointing in itself. Um, would have wanted to see Janowski out there, but uh, just got a little bit nervous on the start line. Um, uh, will be kicking himself a bit. As you rightly say, an opportunity now. All these three riders will be on the rostrum, of course, with only three of them out there. But an opportunity for Jason Doyle with more racing room going towards that first turn. And it's a, it's a big blow for Janowski because he could have taken advantage of this lineup uh, without Leon Madsen, without Smarslik, without Mickelson. Doyle on a warning then. As you rightly say, a missed opportunity to really stretch that lead in the championship. And uh, he will be very frustrated indeed. So, second time of asking here in the Marquetta for the final. Wuffenden on the inside in red. Martin Vasilik on uh, gate number two in blue. And on the outside is uh, Jason Doyle in the yellow helmet colour. Martin Vasilik had actually got away very well indeed. And yeah, yeah. It was a very untidy start uh, in truth. Start line girls now getting out of the way. Green light is on. Away they go, oh, Martin Vasilik. What a start from him. He fires himself to the front. Ty Woofenden now slots into second place. But Martin Vasilik down that back straight on the opening lap. Absolutely will perfect away from the start. It was a textbook start there from the Slovakian. Jason Doyle back in third. But Martin Vasilik, look at him go out in front. A stunning opening lap there from him. Martin Vasilik has come into this meeting and found some fantastic form. He's right. I've never seen him ride better, I don't think. He's just riding the bike with so much determination. He's out in the dirt. He's not worried about where he's riding and stretching that lead against Ty Wolfenden and Jason Doyle, who certainly have turned their uh, Grand Prix series round tonight.
They have indeed, but for Martin Vasilik, that was a stunning start. It's been a terrific night of Speedway right through all the evening for him. He's out in front. He's got this final really wrapped up. Just needs to keep it going. One last turn for Martin Vasilik. As it comes out of turn number four, the crowd are on their feet. Martin Vasilik wins in fine style here in the Marquette tonight. What a performance from him. He'll be absolutely overjoyed with that. 20 massive world championship points for him. Good result for Ty Wolfenden back in second place and Doyle in third. But what can you say about Martin Vasilik? Had the, the uh, strength of his convictions there to go for gate number two, Chris, yeah. and he made it work. Yeah, he did it twice. He's made it work both times. And uh, for the second Grand Prix in a row, we see a guy at the bottom of the field taking the victory, mixing it up. Yeah, so very difficult to predict uh, the results at the moment. It really is a topsy-turvy season, but uh, it's an indication of how competitive this series is. It really is. And um, uh, a tough one to call. Fair play to Bartosz Mars yeah. there going across to co congratulate Martin Vasilik. Great sportsmanship from him. Ty Wuffenden will be delighted as well with his second place on the evening. 18 championship points for him. And... Uh, Back in third place, 16 World Championship points for Jason Doyle. But the night belongs to Martin Vasilik. Clearly delighted with his performance. And as I say, with a World Championship round in Tetero in just seven days' time, what a timely win this is. Yeah, and it's another track, uh, to be honest, that could suit him down to the ground. It can cut up a little bit. Uh, just the sort of track that uh, he doesn't mind riding.